Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to see how employee can add their time cards uh, and uh, where employee can enter their time, time card. So, we are going to see the employee time entry page. So, let's just move on to the application and see how we can perform this task. So you will see on the screen that I'm logged in as a Katri Hendrick and Katri has a time card entry capability which she can access in two different ways. They both are showing on the screen. Uh, she can go to the time and absences here and uh, basically which brings her into her work area with all of the time and labor related options. Okay. And um, she can also choose the existing time cards. Here you can see that for her quick action link. Let's just open it. And this takes her directly into the area where she can create a time cut. As you can see, it's a blank slate. So let's get started by clicking add here to create a time card. To get started, we will click add button under the entries. And once this load, We are able to make a few selection here and uh, there are two different ways that she can enter time using this one interface. First, we want to choose the hours type here. So, and with the drop down, she can have several options. So, let's just go with the regular this time. And she can select the dates or date here uh, she can do a whole range so let's look now at what the calendar is showing here okay so let's choose here monday and tuesday Okay, so now we will work ahead and coming out, we can enter the start time. So you can type it in or you can choose the icon here. You can see that. So you can select it and choose whatever time you choose to start work this morning for example i just select the 8 30 am okay click this okay, so you can scroll and make your selection this way and you can choose am or pm and click OK. So now sometimes using that wheel option to choose your time can be a little uh, cumbersome. So one trick is to just choose a time close to what it is. And once you get the formatting into the field, just like if I select this for 35 and I just 
change to the 430. And then it's changed into the PR. Okay. So once you get the formatting into the field, you can come in and use your keyboard to change it to the correct time. Just, just like I did here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now let's say there is a third date. We, uh, we selected the Monday and Tuesday, two date here. But let's say there is a third date that I want to add, but my start and end time look different. So that's where you could use this add another day option. When you click, you get another set of option where you can choose a different date. Okay, so at this time, Let's just put in Wednesday. Okay. And I think I'm going to get an earlier start. So start my day at 7 in the morning. And because I'm starting at 7, so I will be end my day at 3. Okay, so I have done a few days here. Let's just click OK. And what you will see in the page comes up within a summary of all of my entries. Um, and it gives me a total number of reported hours you can see here, which is 24. And you will see my time card period up here. And I'll scroll down to show you that three days where I have entered time are showing up and you will notice that the time from 8 eight thirty to 4 30 shows for both of monday and tuesday uh entries and on the wednesday entry is a different start and end time that i entered you can see here right so at this point if i need to uh, make changes to any of these lines you will see the pencil here Click on the pencil mark to edit and, and it would allow me to make changes to the entries here. So maybe I actually want to start 7.30 to and finish at 3.30. Then make the changes. Click OK and the changes. will is now reflected on the overview here okay so the last part of this page at the bottom you click on the arrow to expand the comment here and so if i wanted to explain why i was starting an hour earlier on wednesday or if i had to log over time any sort of explanation or description comes down here so that it all adds your manager in approving your time now that the dates have been entered this is some sort of description if i want it down here in the comments so we will scroll back up to the top of uh, we find the save and close option and uh, the submit option here we have and the cancel option so we will 
so well i have just filled out partial week so far i have not finished the rest of the week in fact i have not even worked tuesday and wednesday so at this point i'm going to click just save and close which saves my entry but doesn't submit So that's how the employee can enter their time cards. Here you can see that. So the status you can see here, we save this information. And this is the time card entry of your employee. So I hope this method is clear to you. So thank you so much for watching the video.